Hi, I'm not a politician and I'm not a celebrity as you can probably tell and I'm not of Scottish heritage but I do have family and friends who live and work in Scotland and study there and my two-year-old grandson was born there and is being brought up there close to Edinburgh today. I myself have spent many years visiting parts of Scotland enjoying the glens and the hills and the high mountains where I've climbed and skied and run for over 40 years. And during that time I've met many Scottish people, people proud to call themselves Scottish. I've enjoyed their culture and their humour, not just out in the great outdoors but also in their wonderful vibrant cities. I suppose you could say that I'm just a middle-aged British guy. And like so many of us who live south of the border, we don't have a vote in Thursday's referendum. But I do have a voice. And that's really what's prompted me to make this video, which is something that I've never done before uh, and it is not something that I would normally choose to do. But I'm proud to be British. I think the diversity of our four nations have made this country great. From Lerwick to Land's End there's a richness and diversity of culture that has made the sum of the parts of our four nations much greater in terms of the impact that they've had in the world. And I too want a fairer society. I too want greater prosperity for our children, I want jobs for our young, I want dignity for our old and infirm. And now I too would like the power to decide things more locally than we've previously had. There's no certainty ahead for any of us and I think the only certainty there is is that of uncertainty in a dangerous and changing world. There are many challenges facing us here at home, in our own families, in our own country and also globally. We need to meet those challenges with the best possible set of tools and I honestly believe that being together with the diversity and strength of our different cultures within this Great Britain is the way to go. A beacon has been lit north of the border and it's not going to be extinguished on Thursday. It's going to grow stronger and brighter whatever the answer that the Scottish people give. And I want that answer to be to remain together but I want to see that beacon spread across this country and use the power that's been generated of independent thought and a belief that things can be better to spread amongst our young people and to change the politics of this country for the better for all of us so that we can move ahead with certainty that we have all the tools in our toolbox to deal with the problems that undoubtedly face us all. So I would just like to say and add my voice and ask others to do the same. Don't be the silent majority. Speak out and let us stand together, all of us, this great British Isles. Stand together, stand for change and say to Scotland, we love you Scotland. You bring a massive amount to our country and we want to keep it. Thank you.